Hello, hello, hello. I'm a little bit excited about this today. I know that a lot of times when you're looking for online jobs, a lot of people are presenting things to you that take forever to get going. There's a lot of work that you need to do, um, especially if you're creating a passive income or an automated business. There's certain systems that you have to put into place and it's not, the rewards aren't going to be there right away. It's kind of like building a house. You have to build it. <laughs> it takes a couple of years sometimes and then you get to re reap the benefits. So the three jobs I'm going to show you today, you could start right away and put some money in your pocket. So if you're in a high school, maybe looking for some part-time work, you could definitely try one of these three jobs. Stay at home mom, you know, something you can do in between when the kids are sleeping or in between running them around. Homeschool moms, a lot of times um, homeschool moms will stay home and the family just lives on that one income. So mom can teach the kids and be there all day long. So, um, it's hard to leave the house and go find a way to make money because your husband's probably tired when he gets back and doesn't want to have to watch kids and you know running back and forth you never see each other so these are jobs you can do from home and make some money and make your life today a little bit easier if that makes sense so let's go ahead and get started i went to a um a website called glassdoor.com. So I'm telling you that because if there's anything that you're thinking about doing and you're wondering about what kind of salary that you can make, everything's on here. Um, and these are just um, from their um, evaluation. So you can look at them and see. But I went ahead and looked up data entry. In my opinion, data entry is probably one of the easiest things just about anybody can do. If you've graduated from high school and have no degree, um, you know how to use, you know, your phone <laughs> data entry, you're just entering things. I think most people could do this with very, either none or very little skills. So I wanted to start with this, but you can make a good $15 an hour and that's not bad. Um, typically $31,000 a year. So even if you worked part time, um, you know, work 20 hours a week, you can make $15,000 a year and, and you can do the math and figure that out. So, and, and then again, it depends on um, who hires you and things like that. So you're probably saying, okay, data entry, what do I even do? Well, if you go to glassdoor.com and you scroll down here to the bottom, it says here are some open data entry jobs. So you could literally go to somebody else and get a job and and have them give you the work to do they're going to be like the middleman they're the one that created the agency or the big company and they're going to go out and look for people to fulfill these job requirements so they're the person doing all the legwork you come in and do the monkey work i guess right that entry sorry it's monkey work um i've done it i still have a job doing that um anyway so that's one thing you can do there's another place that you can go called mod uh this is click worker i'm sorry click worker is also another company that you can look at and go in there and you can earn as a click worker so if you if you want to be associated with a bigger company and give yourself more credibility then that's the way to go that's the easiest route to take let's say you don't really want to do that you just totally want to set up your own little business and you want to market yourself well, you can always go to fiverr.com. I've got that link below, freelancer. You can become a freelancer, which means you can go to different sites like Upwork, freelancer.com, fiverr.com. There's a lot of them out there. Just uh, Google freelancer sites or something like that. And you can go in and promote yourself. Now, the only problem with this is typically people will come into these sites and they will undercut themselves. They will charge less so that they can compete with the competition. Once they get established and they have that credibility, then they'll start to earn to charge more. So it really depends on what your goal is. Do you just want to start working, start making money, or do you want to create a business? And maybe eventually you could be um, create, get so much work that you could start hiring people to help you. So again, it really depends on what your goals are, but that that's one job data entry okay the next job is social media manager and you probably have heard about that and you're like what is that exactly they can make fifty five thousand dollars a year now that's for full-time work so cut it in half a good twenty seven thousand dollars a year working part-time cut it in a fourth that would be 10 hours a week so it really depends on what you want but let's scroll down and see i'm in that glassdoor.com again and here again there are some companies here that are looking for people to become social media managers now what does a social media manager do well think about it social media instagram facebook youtube 
they are people who manage that social media profile for somebody else. You see these big gurus out there? They're not sitting on Facebook and posting every day and they're not posting on their Instagram and posting on LinkedIn. They're way beyond that. People who are starting out are doing it themselves because you're either gonna pay with time or you're gonna pay with money. And most people pay with their time first, they make some money and then they start paying somebody else to do it. And that's where you come in. Now, again, you can go to one of these companies and become an employee for them and do some social media management. Um, if you come over here, there's a company called Mod Squad and they have you work for them as well. So again, do some research, find that right company. Now, I know somebody that does this as a business. Her name, I'm going to show you her, her YouTube channel because um, her name is Rachel Peterson. It's P-E-D-E-R. S E N, if you can see it right here. Um, look her up, Facebook, um, YouTube. She's all over the place. She, uh, I had actually met her at a, an event I went to and she has an agency. She went a step further. She started out on her own doing social media management for other people, for clients. And then she started an agency where now she hires people that might have three or four clients assigned to them and they do that work. So she's controlling the company now and, and running. So she's bringing the work in under her name because she's been successful. And then she divvies it out to people that work for her. So I'm showing you this because I want to show you that you can take something that you're starting out, just doing it on the side and grow it into a lot of money per month. Now, if you go to, let's see right here. Uh, oh, I want to show you this. Um, you might say, how do I control social media management for other people? There are a lot of social media management software tools out there. One of them is called Post Planner. I'll put the link below. But basically, you go in and they will... Uh, let me see if you can find pictures here. Basically, you go in and you set up somebody's media posts for a whole month. So your job would be to plan them out, put them in this planner for a whole month and plan and do the social media management for other people. Now, if you go through one of those companies, they're going to tell you how they want that done. But if you're doing it on your own and you go through fiverr.com again, let's go see in there. There's people in here, social media managers. What they do is they go purchase uh, or sign up for one of those software. There's Hootsuite. There's a lot of them out there. And what they do is they communicate with the person. What is it that you want? What, what kind of posts? You will post them and plan them out probably 30 days to 90 days in advance and manage their posts. They might even want you to go in and manage the comments or the um, different different kind of engagement things in the different posts. They want you to go in there and actually keep their um, social media alive because they don't have time to do it. So that just gives you an idea. It can go off in different directions, but if you want to promote yourself and maybe just work for one person, go to one of these freelancer companies and get one of those software tools like postplanner.com. Go ahead and look at it. It's a, uh, The reason I share that link is because it's very, very easy to use. And I also have some videos that I've made and I'll try to remember to put them at the end of this um, so that you can see um, exactly how easy it is to, to work. Now, I've got mine set up on just three different uh, social media platforms because I spend most of my time on YouTube and I just actually... That's just where I spend my time. So mine is small, um, but there are people that might run 10 different social media platforms and it goes up to 10. And once you hit that number 10, then you have to increase the um, monthly fee for the program that you're using. But it's called a post planner, social media management software. All right. So again, you can start your own business and grow it into something bigger or work for one of those other companies. All right, I have one more job that you can get and it's called a search engine evaluator. Their salaries are about 31,000. I'm really surprised they're not higher, but search engine is really important and there are algorithms and things like that built into Google and Facebook and things like that. But there are a lot of things that the algorithms miss. They still need that human touch. So what they will hire you do is to go in and analyze maybe ads. Um, maybe people 
Facebook ads. A lot of times um, you'll go to buy a Facebook ad and it gets rejected. And you have the ability to write back and say, hey, why did it get rejected? Well, then a human comes in and looks at it. It's not the machine again. And they might say, oh, sorry, it was a mistake. We're going to go ahead and let that go through. Or this is why. And this is why it didn't. But they're evaluating it. They're going back and evaluating things. Um, there's one company that I know of that have people go in and they will look at spe uh, specific ads and make sure there's nothing, um, anybody breaking rules. Like a lot of times they don't want pornographic things and things like that. Maybe somehow the algorithms will miss it so they have the human eye go in and check. That's just an example. Or maybe violence or things like that. They're, they're checking and making sure they're not getting through. Um, again, here are some jobs. Um, they're all from different uh, countries as well. Uh, sometimes your search engine evaluator jobs will also ask you to go in and translate things to another language. So there's a whole bunch of different aspects of it. Uh, there's jobs here. You can also go into a company called APEN, A-P-P-E-N.com and get a job with them and they'll get the work for you. I mean, that's how easy this is. This is so many people say, oh, I don't have any money. I, I, I can't find a job. Go online. I, in my heart, I know I have been in situations my entire life where I've had to go, you know, work at McDonald's at that, that line when you came through. Um, I, I've had, a, I can't think of how many things I, I've been a waitress. I've done it all because I've never been afraid to find work. And I always believe there's something out there for everyone. I'm not afraid to go out and mow lawns or weed eat or, or go, you know, plant somebody's garden. Even now, I, it's not beneath me to do what I have to do to earn money. And it is so much easier nowadays. You don't have to go out and mow lawns. You don't have to go out and um, work at that McDonald's window if you don't want to. Get online. There are thousands of different ways that you can earn money. So in, in my opinion, there is no excuse for someone to say they can't find a job because they're all over the place. You just have to learn to present yourself, maybe sometimes learn some of the skills, but you can do it. And these, especially data entry, not too hard to do. All right, and this one here is another company called Lion Bridge. Um, it's another one that you can look at for the um, search engine evaluation, okay? So look at those. Uh, let me know what you think. If you happen to get a job with one of those, let me know. I would love to hear about it. But again, if you want to go to Fiverr, I've got the link below. Um, freelancer, you can freelance. Um, some people... If you're good at search engine optimization, let's say you've already been working online, you're not just looking for data entry or something like that, and you know how to do search engine optimization because you've been doing it for your own website or something, go ahead and hire yourself out and do it for other people. And that way, while you're waiting for your business to grow, because it's not going to grow fast right at the beginning, you can be helping other people grow their business and have some more cash coming in. So you feel like you're being productive and making some money. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'm here to help you make money, save time, and find balance in your life while you're doing it. I don't believe that people should be sitting at the computer. I don't want you to give up your nine to five just to work five to nine. I, I, that's not my quote. Somebody else said it, but it makes sense. I know too many people that have started businesses online. They give up their nine to five, and then you hear they're sitting on here from five in the morning till nine at night. And that's I don't think any amount of money is worth that. So find that balance as you're making the money and building your business or just do a couple of those small jobs I show you and bring some extra cash into your house. And there's no shame in that either. All right, I'll see you on the next video. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my links below.